Good morning everyone. I have Hank, my Volkswagen ID7 Pro here. I'm here at the Tesla Supercharger, charging to 100% because today I am trying Project 650. If you haven't seen Project 400, that was when I uh, drove above 400 kilometers on the highway at 130 kilometers an hour and today we're gonna do try 650 kilometers with 90 kilometers an hour and I know what the hell nobody needs 90 kilometers constant speed on the highway and it's totally true except for trucks but this is a simulation if you do a mix of country and city driving if you don't push it if you drive normal then 90 kilometers an hour on the highway is uh, around that speed uh, that uh, consumption that you're going to use and it also should be able to achieve its WLTP range which on this car is 621 kilometers they put it down since then 608 or something or when I bought it, it was 621 and I want to see if it can do 650 that will be so cool it will be the longest I've ever been in a car driving on a day with one charge All right, I am on my way driving 93. I have never done a range test with Hank or with an ID7 at 90, only at 130, 110, but I'm driving 93, that's GPS 90. I started with 100%. Range display shows me 528 kilometers. We'll see. Um, today, temperature should be now 14 to around 22 degrees, so I don't need heat and I hopefully will not heat uh, need AC as well I can see that the car is not heating up here um, I really am trying to do that because that's the least consumption um, what I need my average consumption is the top number here I need under uh, what was it 11.2 watt hours per kilometer so 112 watt hours per kilometer average consumption to achieve 650 kilometers so it has to go down but it just started and when you have to accelerate to the highway it's normal that it is high in the beginning and I'm in eco mode even though no heat no AC like I said but still is this a Kia EV9 there's a Kia EV9 and I have one at home that's cool I'm at 90% and only drove 75 com uh, 57 kilometers. So full range right now would be 570 kilometers. Consumption is 122, so too high. Um, so maybe we can't make this happen, but I have a few things um, of uh, a few things of hope. Number one, when I drove on at 100% drove away from the charger it took 30 seconds when it that it showed 99 percent so the from 100 to 99 percent were 500 meters or so right now it's five kilometers or almost six that's one thing number two i see that we gradually this is the the elevation the 350 meters we're going uphill the whole time a tiny tiny bit so every 
two kilometers or so this goes up a bit so maybe this is why the consumption is higher in the 30s it's still 12 degrees it's gonna get warmer so I still have to hope <laughs> but I don't know I'm at 75%, drove 145 kilometers, that's 580 kilometers, so uh, range, range increased. I'm still at high consumption, 128. I'm still going uphill, look at that, from 330 in Dickendorf to 465, and it's still cold, 13 degrees, it's even foggy now. Ah, I want it to be warm, I thought it's going to be 22 degrees takes so long to get warm so if it stays that way I mean on the way back it will be downhill then from here to Deckendorf but uh, the temperature I don't know if it's increase increasing still no heat no AC of course I could keep the 93 kilometers an hour perfectly the whole time it's amazing one time I had to pass a car one car and there was the, the construction zone where I had to drive 90 instead of 93 that's the only thing another 7% and then I will turn around I'm guessing on the way back I will have less consumption I have to pass a truck ah, ah, driving a hundred ah, 103 I can slow down there's no one behind me um, turn around I will most likely have less consumption on the way back I know but um, just to be sure and I can always go in the direction of Regensburg there's no problem I'm so high elevation is now 615 meters um, I even saw 640 for a second but 630 for a while so I went up by 300 meters so it means I will go down 300 meters on the way back consumption is still 128 it went up to 130 even but never under 127 something like this so with this consumption I cannot make it um, but I hope it will go down on the way back and then maybe have to prolong it a bit go like I said to Regensburg and then hopefully we get to that that would be amazing and finally it's getting warm we have 19 degrees now Woo 18 19 degrees something like that um, and it's sunny that so it heats up the, the air even more the Sun which is amazing for consumption I'm at 50% and I drove 301 kilometers so 602 kilometers of full range my consumption is steadily going down and I'm still at 630 meters <laughs> but it's 21 degrees out there so if I would have started later when it's already warm that would have been better for the consumption but then I can get home way too late um, car shows me still 308 kilometers of range that looks also good. That's nice, good, calculated. My consumption is going down and down and I'm going downhill, yes! I'm 118 watt hours per kilometer and my instant consumption I see is always mostly be, uh, beneath. I calculated my range 
at 100% uh, and right now it's even 633 so we're getting closer um, what um, I'm navigated back where I started and it would only be 125 kilometers that mean I would only drive 530 so I will detour to Regensburg and try to get to drive 600 kilometers because that's awesome <laughs> so, so we tried it huh 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 yeah, the longest I've ever driven in, a, in an EV before uh, uh, was in the ID4 and a wonderful summer a very warm summer evening I remember that and I drove 520 or so kilometers and non-stop I didn't even stop to pee today I did that and I'm sure I will do that again but driving 600 kilometers in one charge it's cool. I'm at 25%, used 75% of my battery, drove 481 kilometers. That would mean a full range of 641 kilometers. So we quite not make it. The, my average consumption stays at that 117 for the last hour. Um, I see that my, average, uh, my instant is sometimes under it and sometimes above. So I think it's gonna stay that way. Um, even though I think we're still going down a bit 22 degrees out there it's a perfect drive um, busy but I don't have to slow down or speed up it's all amazing average speed is amazing uh, yeah we just have to see if the consumption stays that way goes up or down and if we can make I would be okay with 640. <laughs> That's still amazing. That's above the WLTP range, so I'm cool with that. If you need a charging solution for your trip through Europe, then check out Maingau Autostrom. With Maingau, you can charge at over 550,000 charging stalls all over Europe. You can start your charging process with the app, with a card, or with this tiny little chip that you can have on your keychain, which is very neat. Check them out in the link in the description below. I arrived with 7%, drove 599 kilometers, I didn't get to 600 and that's with this data is 644 kilometers of range so we barely missed it. At home I will do a full thing um, what was the real kilometers, not what the shock co uh, the, the shock shows, the car shows, and also then the change of consumption. I will put the number all in here so you can see. So you see my tire size. I have 19 inch tires on here. The temperature was between 12 and 24 degrees and um, I will do with Google Maps what the exact distance was for this trip like I said and then maybe change the consumption if it has to. So sadly I didn't make it, Hank didn't achieve the 650 kilometers. I think because it was just so close if I would have driven somewhere where it wouldn't go uphill the whole time but I don't know if this even exists. If I would went north not west if the I don't know if it's uphill or downhill there, but if I would have left two or three hours later where it was already warmer, I think that the 650 could have been possible. Because six kilometers at a at, at this long trip, that's nothing. If it just would have been warmer. But it was, till Munich was like 12, 13 degrees and then finally at some point it was went above and then 17 and 18 degrees. Uh, so I was driving at least two or three hours um, till it got a bit of warmth. My god. 
that's how it is. If you want to follow me on Instagram, BatteryLife1, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below, and here on YouTube there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel, Behind the Battery. But that's it for me, thank you very much for watching, have a great day and take care, bye!